I'm not a real wildlife photographer. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. Hey everybody, I'm speaking softly because I'm photographing from my vehicle uh, and I've got a badger den right out there. Uh, it is about 20, what I call that, 25, 30 feet away from the vehicle. I'm on a dirt road here in Wyoming and I wanted to just do a quick video today about using your car as a blind for wildlife photography uh, and I mention it a fair amount of time because I do that quite a bit and the reason I do it is because it works it's effective and uh, people photographers have been using blinds uh, since there were nature photographers wildlife photographers uh, using a vehicle like these badgers obviously live near this road and uh, so they're used to vehicles now if I got out on foot Boom, they're back down into the den. They're gone. But so using the uh, the vehicle, they're used to vehicles. So they're not um, intimidated by them or they don't see them as a threat. Oop, it's about to come out, I think. I'm gonna shoot a little video of this while I, while I chat. I just see some dirt flying. Oh, there he's out. She's out. I think that's mama. So anyway, what I've got here, can you see that? Can you see her? It's hard to see on this super wide angle lens of the GoPro, um, but hopefully you can see that. Oop, here comes the baby. All right, I'm gonna put this down and do some photography and I'll get back to you in a minute.
Hello. Can you tell that I made a mistake? That mistake was, I forgot to film an ending to that Badger video. So here I am on my patio. It's the next morning and it's lovely. Uh, there's Lula. Can you see her? Oh yeah, you can totally see her out there. Um, but anyway, I forgot to film an end to the Badger video where I was out there in my car. I totally lost my train of thought because uh, once I turned off the camera and started shooting, I literally had an hour and a half of nonstop action with that Badger mom and two kits. So it was fantastic and I lost track of time and then the sun went down and when they uh, when it got too dark to shoot and they wandered off, I just uh, put my camera down and drove off and I forgot that I had been making a video earlier. <laughs> so, so here I am, I just wanted to give you my final thoughts to wrap it up and those thoughts are to use your vehicle as a blind because it's a great strategy and that was a perfect example of why because uh, that was a Badger family that was very close and I totally didn't disturb them. They went about their business for an hour and a half with me shooting away, I was 20 whatever, 25 feet away from them and uh, they were behaving completely naturally. So I've had some idiots comment before uh, on social media, shocking, right? Idiots commenting on social media that I'm not a real wildlife photographer because I shoot wildlife from my vehicle. I think that's utterly ridiculous. Uh, I think those people are idiots for saying that. And um, anyway, so I, I wanted to kind of emphasize again that it's an excellent strategy. And if people are criticizing you for what you're doing, how you're doing it, you know, for the most part, screw them. Uh, if if those comments had come from somebody that I knew and respected, uh, I might, well, I definitely, I would give that some thought and try and uh, figure out if what I was doing wasn't proper or was somehow unethical. But I would say shooting your shooting from your vehicle, wildlife from your vehicle, is an excellent strategy to make great photos. And I would say it's highly ethical. It's great for the wildlife because, as you saw in this badger video, those badgers felt totally comfortable with me being there shooting from my vehicle. If I was out on foot, way less comfortable. They would probably not have come out of that den at all other than to peek up and see me there go back down. So it worked great for photography. It worked great for the badgers. I'd say it's a fantastic strategy. Uh, I'd say people who are critical of what you're doing and how you're doing it online um, uh, can mostly be ignored. Unless it's, uh, you know, somebody that you know and respect, and uh, then you should absolutely give that some consideration. In this case, that wasn't the case. So uh, anyway, those are my thoughts on that. A little bit of a rant, but also, uh, you know, a real effective lesson there on how to let animals get comfortable with you so that you can then get nice photos of natural behavior. So uh, I will say that... Uh, People who photograph at game farms, um, I disagree with that whole system. Um, but what I really, really disagree with on game farms is people who photograph wild wildlife. Uh, they photograph animals at game farms and then try and pass that off as wildlife, uh, typically on social media, but certainly in prints and stuff like that too. That is not wildlife. That's like at a you know at a zoo. That's a uh, an animal that is not wild. That is not wildlife. So my situation shooting a wild animal from a vehicle versus shooting an animal in a non-wild environment are two totally separate issues. So uh, anyway, that, sorry, I got off on a tangent there. I don't know what that was all about. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, this is a prop. This has nothing to do with the video today, but I needed something to hide my microphone. So I thought I'd set my, my cute little Fuji X-T30 in front of that microphone. Did it work? You didn't even notice that microphone there, did you? All right. Have a great day. See you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed those badgers. I sure did. They were fantastic. See you next time. Mm -hmm.